Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333386 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 16th of december the session will be very interesting so pay attention till the end first we'll go for the revision and then we'll proceed to the today's current affairs so the first is National Energy Conservation Day. When do we observe this? On 14th of December. And if you remember, Kerala, it became the first state to talk about becoming completely shifting to renewable energy or 100% renewable energy by the year 2040. Their aim is to become 40% carbon or to shift to around 40% of the renewable sources of energy by the year 2020 of five and then apart from this remember they aims to become carbon neutral by the year 2050 all right and national energy conservation day on 14th of december next is india will be the first to hold satellite spectrum auction as per tri chairman highly important remember this will be satellite communication spectrum and india will be the first country to hold such a auction all right and this will be ways to attract investment in this particular satellites communication spectrum next is economic intelligence unit recently released the world cost of living index and in this world cost of living index the city that has stopped is your singapore and singapore is termed as the most expensive city in the world this singapore is followed by new york and on third position it will be tel aviv that is of israel all right next next is global trade to surge 32 trillion dollar in 2022 recently unctad released a global trade report for uh, december month and it stated that for the whole year 2022 we saw a record surge in the global export uh, in the global trade and that accounts for around 32 trillion dollar rupees as per the year 2022 and this was released by unctad next also here in the report stated that the in the upcoming year in 2023 the global trade will decline next assam recently got the gi tag for their product gamocha this is also known as gamcha as you can see in the picture this is a cotton cloth hand woven cotton cloth that has been recently awarded gi tag next 
एच एस बी सी बी डब्ल्यू एफ वर्ल्ड टूर फाइनल्स फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वर हेल्थ इन दिस एज यू कैन सी अकाने यामा गुची एज यू कैन सी हर शी वन द वीमेन सिंगल टाइटल एंड विक्टर एक्सलसन हु इज फ्रॉम डेनमार्क हैज वन द मैन सिंगल टाइटल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्ल्ड टूर फाइनल्स एंड दिस स्पोर्ट इज रिलेटेड टू विच स्पोर्ट इट इज रिलेटेड टू बैडमिंटन नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट रिसेंटली एम टी ए आर साइन एंड एम ओ यू विद इन स्पेस इंडिया फॉर द डिजाइन एंड द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्मॉल सेटेलाइट लॉन्च व्हीकल द रीजन फॉर दिस इज वी वॉन्ट टू डेवलप दिस काइंड ऑफ व्हीकल सो दैट वी विल बी एबल टू सेंड स्मॉल सेटेलाइट इन टू द स्पेस इजिली एज वी कैन सेंड दी सेटेलाइट एवरी अदर वीक All right, and if you remember, Azadi said that Azadi said was also launched using this small satellite, uh, small satellite launch vehicle, but it was a failure mission. Next, next, remember in the international fleet review of twenty twenty two, three Indian naval ship participated. They were INS Kochi, INS Karavati, and INS Sumedha. So these are important. This international fleet review was conducted by whom or hosted by whom? It was hosted by Bangladesh Navy. What was the location where was this is hosted? Bangladesh. Next, next we will be talking about SpaceX. SpaceX is the company that is owned by Elon Musk. There is another company by the Elon Musk that is Starlink. What does Starlink do? Starlink provides communicate. Ah, uh, Starlink provides internet. All right, wireless internet using a satellite, and uh, there is a rival company of this Starlink that is the by the name OneWeb. This OneWeb is the company of UK, and this is also a communication satellite that is also launching a very various individual satellites into the space, creating a net of the satellites around the Earth so that internet can be provided at the, even in the remote. locations so recently it was spacex that has launched 40 satellites of one web all right mark that next safai karmachari commission this saraf safai karmachari commission was launched by which state government it was launched by assam important question definitely can be asked that safai karmachari commission was launched by the which state it was by assam so friends these were your revision current affairs now it's time for the today's current affairs so let's start First is national affairs. All right, government of India recently granted GI tags to nine new products, raising the total to four thirty two. And Kerala recently received the five new GI tags. First of all, if I discuss some like saffron from Jammu and Kashmir, Mithila Makhna, this is from Bihar. Now recently we discussed Gamocha, this is from Assam. All right. and now it is saying that the total number of gi tags from india are 432 all right and recently nine new were awarded among these five were received from kerala if we talk about this gi tag that is geographical indication tag has been government uh, granted by government of india to nine new products from different states including the atta paddy atta kumbu avara ali bag white onion rakshti karpo apricot tandoor red gum and gamosa of assam gamosa we just discuss and tandoor red gum all right rakshti karpo apricot ali bag white onion atta paddy atta kumbu avara all right these are the some other products that recently got the gi tag out of the nine gi tags there are that are granted these fives are from kerala just remember the total number that will be beneficial to you that is 432 products are there in india that got the gi tag if we talk about this gi tag which is received by the world this gi tag this is recognized by whom world trade organization this is a term that refers to a primary product of a particular origin that means that per product belongs to the particular state nation or that particular area that is the reason that product is famous in that particular local area so that is the reason geographical indication tag is granted all right then if we talk about wto can you tell me who is the first women african to be appointed to the post of director general she was nakozi okonzo ievla all right and uh, this was established in 1995 what wto so recently nine new products got the gi tag 
uh, and the total number of the GI tags from India is 432. Next, next is MOTA. What is MOTA? Ministry of Tribal Affairs has recently implemented scheme of development of particularly vulnerable tribal groups that is aimed at uh, that is aimed at to plan socio-economic developments of particularly vulnerable tribal groups. I repeat, recently it was MOTA that is Ministry of Tribal Affairs that has implemented a central sponsored scheme. It was named Scheme of Development of Particularly Vulnerable Tribal Groups. Highly important PVTGS. The information for the same was provided there by the Minister of State of MOTA that is Ministry of Tribal Affairs. If we talk about this particular scheme that is particularly vulnerable tribal group, this scheme will utilize habitat development approach so that the culture of those tribal people and heritage is retained. Under this, funds are released in accordance with the conservation come development plans that are prepared by state governments for the tribal people. This will cover education, this will cover healthcare sector. This will cover housing, livelihood, drinking water, agriculture development. All right. These all things will be covered under these various projects. Then similarly, remember EMRS. What is this EMRS? EMRS is your scheme of Eklavya model residential schools. So recently Mota is also implementing a scheme of EMRS to provide quality education to the scheduled tribes. So question can indirectly be asked is that EMRS is basically to these Eklavya model residential schools are basically to provide quality education to which people to the scheduled tribe students. All right, highly important and they will be from 6th to 12th class these model schools Eklavya residential model schools. Moving on. Next is India host first G20 finance and central bank deputies meeting under its G20 presidency in Bangalore. So question can be asked, where was the first G20 finance and central bank deputies meeting under the Indian presidency, presidency that was held? It was held in Bangalore, Karnataka. Apart from this, India will have India is having this presidency of G20 from 1st of December 2022 to 30th of November 2023. All right. Then this meeting was chaired by whom? Ajay Seth chaired this particular meeting. All right. Highly important. Then you should know the theme on which this G20 is held by India. It is Vasudeva Kutumbukam or One Earth, One Family, One Future. This was the theme that was launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Then next Next is IEX that is Indian Energy Exchange has become the first carbon neutral power exchange using market based tradable instruments to offset its carbon emissions. I repeat Indian Energy Exchange became the India's first carbon neutral power exchange that is using market based tradable instruments to offset its carbon emissions. EKI Energy, that is a global service provider in energy, carbon credit and quality management, was the sustainability partner of IEX by providing advisory and consultancy services. Alright, to reduce this carbon footprint, IEX voluntarily cancelled certified emission reductions from clean projects registered under the clean development mechanism of UNFCC and used market-based tradable instruments to reduce the carbon. IEX is committed towards achieving India's net zero emission targets and according to United Nation Environment Program, the headquarter of which is in Nairobi, Kenya, stated that in a report that global greenhouse gas emissions need to be reduced by around 45% by the year 2030 to limit global warming to 1.5 degree Celsius. Alright, so if we talk about this India energy exchange, that is your IEX that became India's first carbon neutral power exchange. Remember the chairman and managing director is Satya Narayan Goelji and the headquarter for the same is in Noida, UP. Next, next is IAF that is your Indian Air Force conducted a two day exercise in the eastern sector on 15th and 16th of December. 
that in this involves practically all of its frontline fighter jets and other assets stationed in that particular region i repeat again friends indian air force deployed fighters and other assets in the annual exercise in the eastern command this was from 15 to 16th of december 2022 the reason for the same was we know that recently there was a clash between indian and chinese troops in the twang sector of arunachal pradesh all right highly important mark this then remember when did this clash between india and china to took place it was on 9th of december that the indian and the chinese troops clashed along the line of actual control in the twang sector of arunachal pradesh here around six indian army soldiers were injured in the clash which involved the soldiers from both sides as well as the, there was a report that many of the uh, chinese soldiers were also injured during this clash moving on to the next news nascom nascom foundation launched a program to impact over 3.5 million people what is nascom that is your national association of software and service companies nascom foundation launched the aspirational district program that is for intending to digitally enable and skill over 3.5 million people by the march 2024 this is to empower marginalized people in the remote and backward areas of india here nascom foundation is stepping into more than 100 aspirational districts through this program with 55 districts identified identified so far across 23 states all right the government's aspirational district program that was led by niti ayog has triggered the equitable growth and development throughout india all right so basically nascom has launched a foundation program to impact over itne million people by skilling them by march 2024 next next is recently according to the artans capital according to the artan capital passport india uh, passport index 2022 was released in this artan capital's passport index of 2022 remember india remember india was placed at 66 pass, uh, rank in the world this stands for that India placed at 66 in the world's strongest passport list, whereas United Arab Emirates was ranked first in this passport ranking of the Artan capital. All right, highly important. This part po passport index 2022 ranks the strongest and the weakest passport in the world and indicates the number of countries that can be entered without a visa. All right, and this passport index was founded in 2014 by Artan Capital. The here, first we saw UAE on the top spot. Second were 10 European countries, Germany, Sweden, Finland, Luxembourg, Spain, France, Italy, Netherlands, Australia, Switzerland and South Korea. Whereas on the third position, there was a list of United States passport that grant free visa to 116 nations. As we saw, Indians were ranked on 66th position. So remember, they can only travel free to 24 countries that require a visa on arrival for 48 countries and require a visa for 126 countries. All right. That means Indians can travel to 24 countries visa free and they require a visa on arrival for 48 countries and 126 countries. They require a visa prior to that of it. What is the capital of UAE that is secured the first position here? It will be Abu Dhabi city. Moving on. Next. Next is United Nation has removed Iran from the women rights body of uh, due to the rally crackdown that took place. I repeat, United Nation Economic and Social Council that is ECOSOC body of UN voted to remove Iran from its women rights body. Highly important, the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women of the remainder of 22-26 term, Iran will have been completely uh, removed from it with immediate effect. I repeat, let's talk about it. 
Recently, ECOSOC, that is your United Nations Economic and Social Council, voted to remove Iran from their women rights body, that is the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women, for the remainder of its term, that is from 2022 to 2026 term, with immediate effect. Iran was removed from UNSCW due to the Tehran's brutal crackdown on women-led protests. Many of the people were shot also. Even if you remember, Iran's goalkeeper iran's football team's goalkeeper has now been sentenced to death because of his participation in the protest this is also one of the latest news that you need to remember next next is hindustan aeronautics limited and bel that is your Bharat Electronics Limited. So, Hall and BEL that are Indian Ordnance Factories among the top 100 global arm manufacturers in 2021. If we talk about the data, SIPRI, that is your Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. This is a Swedish think tank that released the report that was top 100 arm producing and military service companies of 2021. In this particular list, this company comprises of the uh, companies that are making arms, weapons, military planes and equipment. And in this particular list, Indian Military Equipment Manufacturing Company Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and BEL that is your Bharat Electronics Limited have been listed in the top 100. If we talk about Hall, Hall was uh, recorded at the 42nd position in 2022 ranking whereas BEL secured the 63rd position in this particular ranking highly important friends all right similarly if we talk about 2022 data in 2022 the rank of hall was 43 and rank of bail was 69th in 2020 all right not 2022 this data is for 2021 similarly in 2021 it was 42 for hall and 63 for bail and in 2020 it was 43 for hall and 69 for bail so we can see an improvement here then if we talk about sipri who released this data who is the director here dan smith this was established in 1989 and where is the headquarter it is in stockholm sweden next next is ilo that is your International Labour Organization recently released a Global Wage 22-23 report that was Global Wage Report of 22-23, the impact of COVID-19 and inflation on the wages and the purchasing power. This report was released by International Labour Organization and in this report, it is estimated that the global monthly wage fell in the real term to minus 0.9% for the first half of 2020. All right, here we can see it is for the first time in this century that the real global wage growth has been a negative. The Asia and the Pacific real wage growth increased to 3.5% in 2021 and slowed down in the first half of 2022 to 1.3%. All right, if we are talking among the advanced G20 countries, real wages in the first half of 2022 are estimated to have declined to minus 2.2 percent and the real wage in the emerging g20 countries grew by around 0.8 percent the decline in the real wages are due to multiple global crises which placed more than millions of work people across the globe in a dire situation we are seeing war we are seeing high inflation, we are seeing less job securities in the IT sector and due to the various changes in the geopolitics, all this led to the instability in the economy. Here you can see if the purchasing power of the lowest paid is not maintained, the income equality and the poverty will definitely rise. Alright, so remember this report, it was released by World uh, International Labour organization and the report was the impact of covid 19 and inflation on the wages of purchasing power next next is also a report that is food and agriculture organization that is a palm of united nation that recently released a report that was global food crisis likely to increase in the future without wider structural change the report was the future of food and agriculture drivers and the triggers for transformation this report claims that if current agri-food systems do not change, the world will continue to experience persistent food insecurity, resource degradation, and unstable economic growth. 
if considerable efforts are not taken to halt current trends there will be 10 billion people in the world by 2050 creating an unimaginable burden to feed them the report examined present and new agri food system drivers as well as potential future development all right here new long term processes system should be developed and various analysis should be done so that we can cater and help a large audience and feed them on regular basis all right next next is indian government has allowed sri lanka to hold 10000 dollars of worth indian rupees in cash i repeat indian government has allowed sri lankans to hold Ten thousand dollars worth of Indian rupees, uh, Indian rupees in cash. If we talk about it, Indian government has allowed Sri Lankan citizens to hold up to ten thousand dollars. That is roughly translated to eight point one four lakh Indian rupees in Indian rupees in cash through the Indian rupees would not be legal tender in India. All right, it won't be legal tender, but still they have allowed them to uh, hold around this amount of money in cash. this will and en- to enable the sri lanka bank must enter into an agreement with an indian bank to open a nostro account held in other bank in a foreign currency this will provide much needed monetary support to sri lanka which is experiencing an economic crisis due to lack of dollar liquidity all current account transactions including exports imports and remittances can be undertaken between lankan residents and non residents all right so this is an important so remember now sri lanka people can now be allowed to hold indian cash of worth around 10000 us dollar that will be around 8.14 lakh rupees moving on next is wholesale price index recently wpi has dropped to 21 month low of 5.85% in november highly important friends all right wpi is your world wholesale price index All right this is a inflation based index that is declined to 21 month low of 5.85% this is due to the easing prices of food fuel and manufactured items earlier it declined to 8.39% in october 2022 and the inflation was around 14.87% in november 2020 one the reason behind this is the fall in the prices of the food articles basic metal textiles chemicals all right paper products as compared to that of the november 2020 one so definitely remember this question can be asked next next is your google that has recently signed a memorandum of understanding or they have tied up with ministry of information or uh, ministry of electronics information technology all right so mitty google to help around 100 indian startups to scale their app businesses all right so remember if we talk about this i repeat google and mitty that is your ministry of electronics and information technology startup hub will help around 100 indian startups across different indian states indian cities and help scale up their app businesses with the second edition of the app skill academy program that is app skill academy of 2023 this app skill academy is a growth and development program which was started in 2022 it helps in training early to mid stage startups to build applications until now the program helped around 100 startups to scale their businesses and now google has opened application for the app skill academy class of 2023 This is a 6 month training program that will train early to mid stage indian startups in ux design business model monetization strategies international expansion best practices data safety and security practices and everything all right since nearly 50% of india uh, 50% of startups in india come from tier 2 and tier 3 cities they are together be launching this in a multi city road show aiming to engage over 1000 startups across the emerging hubs like surat indore kambitor gangtok and jaipur next now we will be talking about microsoft microsoft and wiset has partnered to deliver satellite internet globally by 2020 5 wiset it is a global satellite communication company that has partnered with microsoft that is a tech giant to deliver satellite internet to over 10 million people across the world with 5 million of them based in africa by 
5. This partnership is a part of Microsoft's Airband initiative and Viset is the first satellite partner with Microsoft and together deepens their Airband network. So now remember Viset and they will also be providing satellite network. Starlink will also be providing satellite network. OneWeb that is a communication web company will also be providing satellite network in the coming future. All right. Next. Next is Rajiv Kumar Vishnoi. As you can see him in the picture, he has assumed the additional charge as the NHPC's chairman and managing director. NHPC. NHPC is your National Hydroelectric Power Corporation. So remember Rajiv Kumar Vishnoi, as you can see him in the picture, he has taken over the additional charge as the chairman and managing director of National Hydroelectric Power Corporation and Indian hydropower generation company with effect from 13th of December. All right, highly important. Next, remember if we talk about Rajiv Kumar Vishnoi, he holds the additional charge of the director of THDCIL, the additional charge of chairman and managing director of Northeastern Electric Power Corporation Limited and the additional charge of the executive director of Vishnugad Plakoti Hydroelectric Power also. All right. He has over 35 years of vast and rich experience in the design, engineering and construction of hydro project structures. Next, next here you can see a 160 meter trisonic wind tunnel to help ISRO test validate future space vehicle designs. Recently, ISRO has conducted the maiden test of the trisonic wind tunnel that is the all new wind tunnel installed at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. So two questions from here. Where is this trisonic wind tunnel established? It is at Vikram, Bhai, uh, Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, Trivandrum, Kerala. It is 116 meters long and it has been launched in order to help ISRO try their future space vehicle designs. The test has been facilitated under the three conditions including subsonic that is below the speed of sound that is at the speed of sound and third is supersonic that is faster than the speed of sound and what is hypersonic hypersonic is when a particular object is traveling five times speed of the sound more than the five times speeds of the sound or we can say more than five mac because one mac is equal to the speed of sound next next if we talk about this trisonic wind tunnel this tunnel is system to aid the aerodynamic design of the rockets and re-entry spacecraft by characterizing a Scaled model by evaluating forces, mon moments, low distribution, unsteady pressures and acoustic levels. Then if we talk about ISRO, who is the chairperson as Sobhnath and the headquarters in Bangalore, Karnataka. Next, NASA astronauts have successfully installed a rollout solar array on International Space Station. Two NASA astronauts, Josh Casada and Frank Rubio have successfully installed a roll out solar array that is rusa on the starboard truss structure of the international space station after being installed on the space station starboard truss segment the roll out solar array successfully extended to its full length of 60. this particular array was delivered by spacex dragon cargo plane and will provide 230 percent more power to iss totaling to 12000 that is 120,000 watts of electricity during orbital daytime next next we will be talking about tata steel tata steel has recently signed a memorandum of understanding with hockey india as their official partner of men's hockey world cup highly important remember if we talk about it tata steel limited signed a memorandum of understanding with hockey india to become the official partner of fis that is your international hockey federations men's world cup for 2023 and this will be held in bhuvneshwar and Rorkela cities of odisha so question can be asked that fis men hockey world cup for 2023 will be held where in odisha bhuvneshwar and Rorkela. and who is the official partner here it will be your tata steel this will be the 15th edition of the event that will be held from 13th of january to 29th of january and the tournament will feature 16 nations here moving on next can you tell me where is the headquarter of this fih international hockey federation it is in lausanne switzerland and it was established in 1924 moving on next badminton asia junior championship for 2022 
ਯੁਨਨਤੀ ਹੁੱਡਾ ਹੈਸ ਵਨ ਦਾ ਫਰਸਟ ਮੈਡਲ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਅੰਡਰ 17 ਕੈਟਾਗਰੀ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਬੈਡਮਿੰਟਨ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਜੂਨੀਅਰ ਚੈਂਪੀਅਨਸ਼ਿਪ ਥੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਹੈਲਡ ਇਨ ਥਾਈਲੈਂਡ ਫਰਮ 29th ਆਫ ਨਵੰਬਰ ਟੂ 4th ਆਫ ਦਿਸੰਬਰ ਹੂ ਇਸ ਸੀ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਸ਼ਟਲਰ ਯੁਨਨਤੀ ਹੁੱਡਾ ਸ਼ੀ ਵਨ ਸਿਲਵਰ ਮੈਡਲ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਪਰਟਿਕੂਲਰ ਅੰਡਰ 17 ਕੈਟਾਗਰੀ ਸ਼ੀ ਬੀਕੇਮ ਦਾ ਫਰਸਟ ਐਵਰ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਟੂ ਵਨ ਆ ਮੈਡਲ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਅੰਡਰ 17 ਕੈਟਾਗਰੀ ਇਨ ਐਨ ਏਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਮੀਟ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਲਾਸਟ ਦਾ ਫਾਈਨਲ ਅਗੇਂਸਟ ਸਾਰੂਰੁਕ ਵਿਟਿਸਦਰਮ ਆਫ ਥਾਈਲੈਂਡ so sarun rak vitisdran of thailand won the gold medal here next next we will be talking about assam remember assam's chief minister has recently launched orun doy 2.0 dbt scheme to benefit over 10 lakh people what is this orun doy scheme 2.0 this basically remember here this was launched first of all remember by whom assam chief minister hamanta biswa sharma ji and this is a flagship scheme of the assam government with a financial outlay of 4 4142 crore rupees per annum in a virtual meet in gassam assam guwahati this was launched this financial outlay of 4142 crore rupees that will be provided annually makes it one of the largest direct beneficiary transfer schemes in india the aim of the scheme is at providing financial security to financially dis advantage families during the first phase of the orundoi around 17 lakh women have been receiving a guaranteed cash flow of 1250 rupees each on the 10th of every month through this dbt that is your direct beneficiary transfer with this uh, with now the addition of another 10.54 lakh new beneficiaries the scheme would reach up to a total of 27 lakh plus beneficiaries under this scheme all right highly important basically the um, here this amount is used to provide direct benefits to the women by providing them 1250 rupees on 10th of every month in their bank account so that's all for the day friends now let's go for a quick revision government of india granted gi tag to nine new products total le- leading to 432 gi products in india Mota implemented scheme of development of particularly vulnerable tribal groups India will host the first G20 finance and central bank deputies meeting under G20 in Bangalore IEX became India's first carbon neutral power exchange IAF conducts annual air exercise in eastern sector Nascom foundation launched a program to impact over 3.5 million people Next is Passport Index 2022 was released by Art and Capital. India ranked 66 in the world's strongest passport list. United Nations ECOSOC voted to remove Iran from the women's right body UNCSW. CIPRI report India's haul and bail rise in ranking among top global arms manufacturers. ILO's Global Wage 2223 report was released and here global monthly wages fell to minus 0.9%. FAO a fao report was released and global food crisis likely to increase in the future without wider structural change indian government allows sri lanka to hold around 10000 10000 dollars of indian rupees in cash that is around 8.14 lakh rupees wpi drops to 21th month low of 5.85 in november 2022 google and meity startup hub to mentor 100 indian startups with appscale academy 2020 3 Microsoft and Viasat partner to deliver satellite internet globally by 2025 Rajiv Kumar Vishnoi took over the additional charge as the chairman and managing director of NHPC ISRO successfully tested 160 meter trisonic wind tunnel at VSSC NASA has not successfully installed rollout solar array on ISS Tata Steel became the official partner of the FIH Hockey India uh, FIH Odisha Hockey Men's World Cup for 2023 Badminton Asia Junior Championship for 2022 Unnati Hudda has won the first ever silver medal in under 17 category or first ever medal for India in the under 17 category in the Asian events Assam Chief Minister launched the Orundoi 2.0 DBT scheme to benefit over 10 lakh people All right so these were your current affairs friends now it's time for your homework First is which country has announced the historic nuclear fusion breakthrough which is the who is the head of the supreme court collegium which recently sent its first set of recommendations third which state has proposed to launch a unique alpha numeric identification number for all families which institution launched the international climate club fifth which state recently passed the bill to remove governor as the chancellor of states universities all right so these are your five homework question friends and if you find the session to be interesting like the video and also comment below and let us know what are your various 
suggestions and if you want us to continue in the future do let us know in the comment section all right friends that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue